Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the P47D22RE or otherwise known as the Razorback. I've been back in War Thunder for a couple of weeks now, been flying again. I had a little bit of a break. Sometimes you need them, you know, as old time War Thunder players. <laughs> I guess you've all been there. Sometimes you just get tired of it. But the last update, I just didn't feel anything. So I just, just uh, tap out for a little bit and just relax with some other things. Um, so that was good. But uh, now I'm, I'm back a little bit and uh, getting back into the groove of things. And I decided, of course, I, I uh, ended um, the, the videos with the uh, Rank 2 America review. And um, so I'm, I'm now flying Rank 3 America. And, and we're going to go ahead and capture the footage for that. Sometimes I will have some nice footage and I will make a review to, uh, to revisit some stuff there in Rank 3. So, <coughs> um, yes. And of course, if you like the video, do give me a thumbs up and all that jazz. Visit my other platforms like Locals and all that stuff. Really helps me out. Okay, um, the P47, uh, the Razorback is now at 4.0. When I reviewed it before, it was at 4.3. And it was a, a decently good plane back then. Of course, it has its limitations. Of course, you know, it doesn't climb that well. And um, it does need the altitude to perform as a boom and zoomer. She is in her you know in her niche and and that's where you got to use her but uh, these days with the 25 minute timer you know you're gonna waste a lot of your time when you only have 25 minutes to get this plane into position <coughs> sometimes it will take you um, up to eight nine minutes to get the right to get to the right point to make this thing work but alas, that's the time you got to take and then after that you can definitely make the difference sometimes it turns out that you just miss out on the match sometimes people just stay low they have a big fur ball and everybody dies which is unfortunate um, but uh, in all the other matches you can still make the difference in the second part of that match and you can be very very vital to your team now the maximum speed in this thing at sea level without web is 520 kilometers an hour with web 550 at 4500 meters it will take you up to 477 without web and 500 with web and finally at 6500 meters you can take this plane to 458 kilometers an hour without web and 476 width now these speeds are decent at uh, at the battle rating 4.0 she's definitely not slow but you know the initial speed the acceleration of this plane are not all that fantastic you gotta wind this plane up by getting to the altitude she needs to start to perform the top speed in a dive is 841 before she redlines and 930 before she rips apart. Now that is jet speed, <coughs> that's one of the main strings in this plane. The handling in the dive and the top speed in the dive is absolutely fantastic and at a 4.0 better rating she's gonna rule the heavens when it comes to that. But you gotta get up to that altitude, right? That is the problem in this plane. Control stiffening in the plane starts at around 500 kilometers an hour, very small tiny bit and then at 750 you get a little bit uh, more compression in there. But nothing terrible actually, uh, the Thunderbolts are very good at high speeds and um, actually when you name maneuverability below average usually up until about 400 kilometers an hour and then over 400 kilometers an hour it becomes decent maybe between five and six hundred is actually good and then when you start to move you will of course lose speed fairly quickly and that will lose the, the maneuverability you have so you might have one or two decent turns in you at high speeds especially compared to planes that have more compression than you which is a lot of planes <laughs> so that is a good thing in this plane stall speed lies around 150 kilometers an hour which is not great not great at all actually and um, you got to be careful in stall maneuvers especially with planes that are energy fighters and are very well equipped to that depending on the altitude you're at you just got to know your planes a little bit firepower is excellent in the plane you run with eight 12.7 millimeter m2 browning machine guns with 425 rounds per gun now firepower in a thunderbolt has never been a problem right <laughs> especially with 425 rounds that is excellent ammo load there and um, yeah it, it will take you through a lot of enemies before you run out unless you're exceptionally trigger happy well 
This plane can also be equipped with bombs and rockets and combos of that stuff. Um, you can equip rockets and thousand pound bombs, stuff like that. So you can go ground pound, that is one of the original ideas that this plane was going to do. <coughs> um, and, and she did excellent in that because it's a beast, right? She's, she's fantastic and um, in reality. But in War Thunder, being low that way and, and throwing off your bombs first means that this plane will be low. And once you lose your initial speed in two turns, you're a sitting duck for anybody who knows what they're doing in energy fighting or boom and zooming. Either way, it doesn't matter. You won't wind this plane up anymore after throwing off the bomb. So there is a problem there for this plane. And you definitely need to climb from the start. Side climb, get your plane up to altitude and then, uh, you know, you can do, uh, do the things with this thing. Which is uh, fantastic to do in the end, once you get her up there. Acceleration in a straight line is decent. In a dive, it's uh, good to very good. <coughs> you need to wind her up a little bit, then she starts to go. Energy retention in the horizontal is good. In the vertical, it's decent. It does lose a little bit of speed there, and the stall speed isn't great either. So, straight performance in the vertical is not up there with some of the energy fighters that you will face at 4.0 better rating. Climb rate is average. That is um, maybe even slightly below average. It's not great. You need to uh, take the time, as I said, that is the one of the most important things in this plane to get her where you need her to be. Turn time in the plane is below average, definitely not much better with flaps. They only rip off at 570 those flaps, so that's good, but yeah, you do lose a lot of speed with that. Roll rate is good, it's average below 300. Um, same for the maneuverability, below average when you're below 300, not great until 400 and then decent uh, over 400 it gets a little bit better even still uh, above 500 so yeah speed is the name of the game in a in a thunderbolt uh, altitude speed energy needs to be high in this plane to be uh, a competitive plane so you always gotta gotta watch that that's the main thing overheating in this plane is present but it's manageable because it, 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 it doesn't cool off too slowly so you gotta manage it a little bit more than some other planes where the, the engine might cool off a little bit faster. So you don't want to overheat this plane while climbing and then expect amber to go away very quickly once you uh, get into your first uh, fight. Durability in the, in the Thunderbolt is excellent. Razorback is no different. It's, it's very survivable, can take a shit ton of damage, uh, it won't let you down, it will take you home. Damaged engine and stuff like that will take a long time to be fully destroyed unless you're exceptionally unlucky with how it was hit. But uh, all in all, durability is fantastic and it's still a joy to fly the Razorback, man. Nothing much changed. <coughs> the battle rating reduction, <coughs> I guess it's alright, especially looking at the... Um, at the, uh, the the maneuverability and all that jazz, it's it just a specific uh, play style that you need in this thing. Strict boom and zooming, being very disciplined and especially many of the newer players will not be able to do that. And thus uh, the plane was probably underperforming. As you guys know, Gaijin <coughs> makes their battle rating system off of the average performance of a plane. And that means that uh, the vast majority of players who, who are not using this plane correctly are massively, um, you know, diluting the figures of what this plane is actually capable of, which is basically true of any plane, of course. With with, uh, but some are just placed correctly. <laughs> there is some logic to the, to to the to the working of Gaijin in that sense, but for more some of the more difficult planes to use where you need to be very disciplined and stuff like that it becomes like uh, the undoing of the plane and sometimes the battle ratings are just well <coughs> not quite where you would want them to be that's the uh, the shit that um, Gaijin has put themselves in you know uh, balancing this plane oh sorry balancing this game is not something that is easy but uh, many of the players that have been around for a while could probably do it a little bit better than the um, than the system that Gaijin has at the moment. But uh, well, I guess it is a system and we're going to deal with it. I don't mind this thing being a 4.0, but uh, 4.3 was nothing wrong with that for this plane. Because you can still perform, you just need to be a little bit patient in it. 
and uh, when you do that um, she will do absolutely fine this is a monster in the end when it comes to that especially when you're up on your game <laughs> which I'm not at the moment by the way I'm still very rusty but hell I wanted to make a video it's been uh, a couple of months and uh, I thought it was time to uh, put something together for you guys again and I had fun in the, the race back it's a heck of a plane. Very joyful to fly around again. Absolutely. And um, see what we have here on the scoreboard. We got our four kill match here. We've got uh, final blow, best squad, terror of the sky, bulletproof, 24,000 silver lions, and 6,000 research points. Hey guys, Jengar here. We are hey guys. Uh, hey guys. So here we are after the match. The Razorback is still a beauty, awesome plane, very characteristic. I love the setup, I love the durability, I love the boom and zooming in it. She's one of the best planes out there for that. Of course the, the guns are in the wing, so you've, you've got the conversion to think about. Would be better in the nose, but hell, Thunderbolts are not set up for that. You gotta work with what you got. Um, so all in all, in a dive, the handling is just great. You just gotta set her up and it's gonna take you five to seven minutes depending on the map to set this plane up correctly being the highest plane evaluating where the enemy is and just making a good educated guess to whether you're the highest plane or not and then you go into the mix and it, it sometimes it's it's you know sometimes the match is already over the enemy team folded and sometimes it's the other way around that your team folded and but then you've got a chance for a nice clutch game where you uh, come back from the brink and, and clutch the win for your team. A nice carry is always good, although, you know, with the current timer, it's much more difficult to pull off. I have in matches on the channel where that actually happens, and I've got nine opponents left, and then you work through them in the next half an hour. Of course, with the 25 minute timer, that is not working, so yeah, unfortunate. Guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.